Hey guys, welcome back to Ingvid. My name is Benjamin, your teacher for today. Today we're going to be looking at some phrasal verbs. What's a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb looks a bit like this. It's a couple of different words that when you put them together act as like a verb phrase for an action. Okay? And the phrasal verbs we're going to be looking at today concern clothes, how you put clothes on, um, what you do with them, that kind of thing, places, to describe places, and people. So quite functional stuff that will add a little bit of colour, a little bit of flavour to your language. You ready to go? Let's go! First one, to do with clothes, to slip on. Now, what I'm thinking of here is a banana skin that I slip on and I fall over. Ow, that hurt. Um, but if you slip on some clothes, you're kind of just sort of putting it on. A bit like you're almost sort of falling over. Oh yeah, I'm just going to slip something on. Yep, I'm not going, doing my tie in the mirror, doing my cufflinks. No, no, I'm just slipping it on nice and easily to button up. Now that little round thing there is a button. If you button up, you are doing the buttons up. Maybe all the buttons on your shirt. It also has another meaning this. If you say, oh, button up, it means like, oh, come on, sort yourself out. Come on, you don't need to be annoyed or upset. Come on, you can, you can do this. Okay, so, but generally speaking, button up means to tighten the buttons on your clothes. To wrap up warm. So, if we're talking about food, what is a wrap? Um, well, it's, it's something that's kind of been like rolled together, isn't it? Yep. You've got your bit of bread, you put some hummus and some lettuce and whatever, tomatoes and some cold meat or something. A wrap. It's had this. So if you are wrapping up, yeah, you're going to put a scarf on, a hat on, some gloves on, a nice warm jacket. Yeah, it's about to be a sort of bonfire night over here. Um, so going out in the cold weather at this time of year, you need to wrap up warm. Otherwise, you're going to get cold. Wrap up warm. I hope I get to go to bonfire night. I might be making more videos for you, but if you go out, then you wrap up warm. Okay, freshen up. Now, um, I was watching the other day Paddington, the movie, with uh, my son, and um, Paddington the bear has just arrived at the Brown household in London. And they say to him, oh, you know, Paddington, if you want to go and freshen up, feel free. And Paddington's like, hmm, freshen up. What is freshen up? And he goes up to the bathroom and he starts getting the, uh, the toothbrushes and shoving them in his ear. Um, and then uh, the toilet, he sort of pulls the chain and then sort of flies up. And then the water starts going everywhere. And before too long, Mr. Brown opens the door and he flies down in a bath down the, um, down the stairway. Um, that's not typically freshening up, but I love Paddington's version of it. Um, freshen up. So what is this? Is this like diving into some snow? There's a, there's a sort of uh, image of like going into something cold to wake up, like splashing some water on your face to freshen up. Maybe you've had a long journey and you arrive at your friend's house and they say, oh, do you want to just freshen up for a moment? And you're like, hmm, what does that mean? Like, is it a shower? Is it washing your face? The idea is you go to the bathroom and there's some sort of cleaning involved and you come back and you feel a little bit better. It's the general idea freshen up. If you forget that after I've spoken about it for so long, I'm going to be really upset. Um, okay, to take something back. Um, right, well, this morning I went clothes shopping 
um, because I'm making lots of videos at the moment and you might have noticed but I'm often wearing different clothes and actually I rather cheekily still got the label in this shirt so if tonight when I get home I'm like you know what this dark red it's not doing it for me I'm going to take this back so if you take something back it's quite itchy that label actually yeah if you take something back you don't like it and you're asking for a refund or a return um, I get on really well with the shop they're really nice to me I do buy stuff as well I'm not totally cheeky don't worry um, to take something up now if I go into my favorite shop in Toronto and I find this lovely pair of trousers but they're just a bit too long I might say to them do you think you might be able to take this up a bit so what you're doing is imagine this is my leg you can't really see my leg I've got I've got long legs if you take it up you're, you're just sort of pulling it up a bit to sell out of something now if the shop I was going to just sold hats and they had a lovely orange hat and I was like oh I really want to get that orange hat and I go there the next day oh no the orange hat it's not here anymore they've sold past participle they've sold out of the orange hats how disappointing okay clothes we feeling confident about it hmm just take those words in yep should be able to remember them I am expecting 10 out of 10 in the quiz today okay right places um, this is a describing phrase if something is run down you know what running is we know what down is put them together what do we have we have a place that is uncared for unloved messy chaotic nasty not the kind of place you want to be yeah if it's run down you know there are rubbish bins sort of lying scattered all over the floor um, yeah notice I said rubbish rubbish rather than garbage or trash because I'm a English rather than American um, littered with if the rubbish is all over the floor then the on the street then the street is littered with rubbish um, but normally you wouldn't use rubbish with littered with you would use something like the place is littered with cigarette butts yep the end of a cigarette so it's something specific littered with means like covered with littered with covered with something okay um, right a litter of puppies is like the uh, you know when when a, a female dog a bitch has like six or seven or eight or nine or ten puppies so a litter there's lots of them the building stuck out so my finger is sticking through the other fingers behind me about two miles that way there's this really 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 tall building in Toronto um, it sticks out yeah if I look that way once I've gone outside I see the tall building yeah I notice it it's very easy to see because it's different from all the other buildings what sets it apart is how tall it is to to set something apart is like well what is it that's different about that building yep it's the height of the building that sets it apart people just as the tall building sticks out if you stand out in a crowd you look different to everyone around you and so you stick out or you stand out yep I stand out in a crowd if I am wearing my coveted orange hat I stand out in a crowd 
if I am playing the trumpet. I blend in if I am looking normal. Yeah, a blender. Yeah, you use it for making juice. You chuck some oranges in, some bananas in, some grapes, a couple of strawberries. I have blended the juice. If you blend in, it's like you become part of all the other ingredients, other people, other life around you. To look up to, we use um, the way we look to show importance. If I look up to someone, then they are worthy of my respect. If I look down at someone, they are not, and I am being trying to show that I'm more important. So if you look up to someone, then you respect and admire. We look up to our heroes, our role models. Who's your role model? Who's your hero? Yeah, tell me, like someone from history, who do you really, really respect? To put down. Um, now, sadly, our pets, when they get to the end of their lives, it's often the pet owners who have to put down the pets or the vet does it for you. Or to put up with, um, if you put up with someone, then you accept them for all their sort of strangeness. Yeah. So families have to put up with each other, um, come rain or shine. Yeah. Whatever happens. Right. We've gone through each of these in a good amount of detail. So I'm really hoping that you're going to remember them and more importantly, try and use them. You can have a go at the quiz if you like now. Make sure you're a subscriber, subscriber to my videos. I'd appreciate that. And then if you are, you can watch the next one. But you'll only know about it if you do, uh, if you press a button up here that's got a picture of a bell, because then your computer will tell you when I've made a new video. Sound good? See you next time. Bye.